So she's a little bit hesitant to eat that close to Lady, so I'm actually going to move this plate just a little bit farther out and see if I can get her to eat that way. Body treats to her plate while she eats. She's uncomfortable eating this close to, to Lady. She's hesitant to eat. She's kind of stiff. I'm not going to correct her. I'm not going to add her. I want her to realize that she can eat comfortably while Lady's next to her. So I'm actually going to encourage her to eat by putting high value treats down on her plate while she's eating your Lady. And of course, I want them to be safe if she makes a bad decision. So what I'm doing here with the leash is I'm giving it slack so she's not feeling tension, she's not anticipating anything, but I'm not giving her enough length that she can lunge forward. I'm actually even leaning down so that all of the slack is pretty much gonna be taken up if she moves forward and she can't make it all the way to lady. I have the leash for my thumb and then clenched between my fingers with my thumb over the top of the rest of my closed fist. And this way, if she does pull, she's not gonna pull the leash out of my hand. I'm gonna be able to very quickly move her back. Good. Good night, up. leaning over so that I can get her really quickly if I need to, but I've got a wide stance so she's not going to knock me over. Midnight out. Yes. That being said, I still do want her moving away if Lady moves into her space. I don't want her staying there, just waiting, waiting for something to happen. I'm going to show her when this happens, you move away. That's what you're supposed to do. If she gets in your space, you get out of the way. You'll get a reward for moving out of the way. You know, I'm not taking away your access to this. You're going to get it back. But if somebody takes over your space and it makes you uncomfortable, you need to leave. That was actually the only time that I had to use the e-collar. She kind of paused for a minute and thought, do I really want to out? Her face is right there. And I said, yeah, you do. And I tapped it, I think a six. And she responded. And then I still rewarded her when she came to me. Midnight out. Yes. See, when I start, when I see Lady start to move towards her, I'm going to move her away before Lady's face is right on her. That's when I'm going to tell her to out. And she outs to better rewards. So I'm not saying she comes near you, you lose your access to food. She comes near you, you don't want her near your food. You move away, you get better food. You can't stay there and get stiff and guard your space.
see, these treats are much higher value to her than this food. She's like, I don't even care about that food. I want what's in your hand. I'm positioning myself too. I'm to the side of her. So again, if she makes a move, I can very quickly pull her back. If that was on the other side and the leash was wrapped around her neck or I was behind her, it's going to be kind of hard for me to get her quickly if I need to. Lady stepped on the point there, then I looked for a second, and then she was like, You don't know what to do, I'm gonna turn away, I'm gonna come get a better treat. Who cares about her stepping on that kibble when I can get good treats? Tomorrow we'll be doing this with, with higher value treats on the plates. Um, lady's not super food motivated, which, which makes this a little bit more difficult uh, to really challenge midnight. But this was a more difficult uh, scenario than she's used to with Lady. So she did pretty good, and we'll make it more challenging tomorrow to see, see what happens. Good night. Oh. 